TV's Evan Solomon, host of Power Play, joins us now to talk some more about that debate. Evan, much more interesting television tonight in the English debate. According to you, who had the strongest performance? Well, it was an interesting night. Look, um, everybody had a job to do, and I just want to caution people before declaring winners. It takes about 48 hours after any debate uh, before anyone, voters really kind of weigh in. This could be a turning point night. Pundits on all sides are going to spend my leader won, my leader won. There were zingers for lots of people, but everyone should be careful. There was not a big stand-up moment. There was not a knockout punch. This was one of those things where it was three yards in a cloud of dust, and we'll find out where the dust settles probably in about 48 hours. But a couple of observations, I think. Um, because there was five people on stage, let's talk about the person most Canadians have never met, Anna Mae Paul. She was tough. Uh, she took on Justin Trudeau. Trudeau. She took on all the leaders. She uh, really represented uh, her views in a way that she had not an opportunity. A, she stayed in a riding. B, nobody knew her. And B, her party's been riven with divisions. So she was a standout for sure. Now, does that make any difference? She's got a winner riding. It may not be consequential, but she was a spoiler. She was a performer. And you contrast that with others. Aaron O'Toole, look, Aaron O'Toole had a good night for two reasons. One, he didn't seem to take a lot of heat on the things that people were expecting. Not a lot of heat on his gun control flip-flop, not a lot of heat on the fact that uh, he put out his costed platform that said it was $60 billion of health care, but only $3.6 billion in the first five years. And he kind of managed to slalom through the attacks and yet deliver a lot of well-practiced blows on Justin Trudeau. Look. Justin Trudeau is the incumbent. He's expecting to take a lot of blows. The problem with Justin Trudeau is the format tonight was more like a knife fight in a phone, in a phone booth. He had no room, so he was attacked by all the different leaders, and he wasn't given a lot of time to fight back. When he did, he was not as strong as he was in the French debate. He didn't have those zingers or those lines, and he tried to pivot. Uh, but he was definitely on his back foot more than his front foot. Last night he was more on his front foot than his back foot. We'll see how that plays out. As for Jagmeet Singh, um, look, Jagmeet Singh's main weapon is likability. And his main challenge is can he turn likability into votes? Tonight, when pressed for details, he didn't give a lot of details because he doesn't believe he's going to win on the details. He thinks he's going to win on proving that Mr. Trudeau talks but doesn't walk the walk and that he is likable and can actually take over that progressive side. So look, again, no knockout punch. Uh, I would probably rank it as Mr. O'Toole probably had a, the strongest night, uh, certainly stronger than he had in the French debate. Um, Anna Mae Paul certainly introduced herself, whether it was consequential or not. Um, Mr. Trudeau, more on his back foot than his front foot. But he also had a few moments where he attacked the other parties on things like climate. And finally, we haven't talked about Mr. Blanchet, the Bloc Quebecois leader. A lot of people keep asking me, why was he there? I mean, look, he was there. He's the uh, spoiler in this. Uh, you could tell there were some answers where he didn't really care whether the people watching voted for him because he's not after these voters. Um, and there was a couple of, frankly, incoherent moments with Mr. Blanchet. Um, so, but what he did do is took up valuable real estate because he's entitled to that real estate. I think real estate that the, the two leaders who are in the front, Mr. O'Toole and Mr. Trudeau, would be more than happy to have built some kind of strategic condo on. But guess what? They didn't get a shot. And, you know, in a debate, real estate, real estate, real estate allows you to make your case. Yeah, absolutely. Not a lot of uh, room, as you said, to maneuver. You also questioned uh, the Liberal leader about the budget. Let's listen to that. We'll come back. Mr. Trudeau, to you. Only four months ago, you released a budget that was billed as a pandemic recovery program, a plan that had $101 billion of new spending. Since then, COVID numbers are up, growth numbers are down. Now you've got a new plan that adds $78 billion of new spending, essentially rendering your last budget out of date. How do Canadians trust that these new massive spending promises will not just keep growing in another few months? And what do you say to the next generation who say, 
How are we going to pay for this? Well, first of all, I made a promise during this pandemic to have people's backs. Every time I came out of my house uh, early on in the pandemic to talk directly to Canadians, I told them, I'd be there for you. And that's exactly what we've done. And it wasn't just being there for people because we're nice, although of course we are. It was being there because that is the best way to ensure a strong recovery. Okay, I'm not sure that you got the answer to the question that you asked, Evan, which is uh, who who's going to carry this debt? Where's the money coming in from? Yeah, getting answers to questions is different than asking questions, as you know, and, and you do your best. Look, um, these leaders are there to take a question and try to spin it to their own talking point. And it's going to be up to voters to decide if that's an, an act of authenticity, professionalism, strategic wisdom, or it looks like they're waffling on it. Uh, but look, there was no knockout punch tonight. This is going to go to the, to the judges on the scorecard. And, uh, but more importantly about who won, Morella, what is this election still about? What stunned me tonight, as we talked about all various issues, whether it was long-term care, health care, reconciliation, the economy, we still don't have a defining issue in this campaign. And as the pollster Nick Nano said, without a defining issue, it can be defined by a person. And in politics, if it's about you, you're in trouble. It was about Mr. Harper in 2015, he lost. The, other, the opposition leaders are trying to make it about Mr. Trudeau. Could he make it about an issue? Or is it about him? Tonight could be definitive. And here's the biggest challenge to all of them. The runway's short, not a lot of time. So if you're hurt tonight, how do you recover? And if you actually won tonight, you could be sailing. This was a critical turning point. But again, smoke's still in the air. I don't know which way this thing's going yet. And I don't know if anybody does. We'll keep an eye on the winds and see which way they blow. Evan Solomon, thank you for that.